Okay, I think we are live here, folks. Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are doing the simulcast with uh, my Discord member as well as we speak. Uh, by the way, if you haven't joined our Discord, let me know, okay? Uh, by the way, if you... uh, I'm going to put the... Uh, I have a... It's a, just send me a quick email, all right? Just send me a quick email so I can send you the link for you. Uh, it's all free of charge. There's no cost. Yeah, it's all free. Everything is free here, guys. Anyway, uh, again, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, this is what we do every day. Uh, today's topic is uh, no more RDT, okay, with DF64 Gen 2. I just got it from Joe from Espresso Outlet uh, yesterday. All right, I'm very excited. Uh, I did an unboxing video yesterday as well. And then uh, my buddy Jordan thinks that uh, he's very skeptic right now. No more RDT, okay. Jordan loves to do his RDT every single day, so. Uh, I mean, I am, I'm very curious myself as well. I mean, I showed you yesterday, uh, has a little clip. Uh, we did a live, uh, kind of like dosing last night. But I, I only did one, okay, one shot. So what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> this morning, <clears throat> okay, I, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to have some water here. Goodness. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to edit this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video uh, sometime next couple of days and cut this part out. Okay. Uh, you don't want to see I'm coughing. <clears throat> We're going to do three shots in a row. Okay. We're going to do three shots. Uh, I'm going to be using DF64 second gen. The reason why you have, uh, I, I showed you, I bring it out. Yo, let me bring you guys closer. Okay. Okay, so I have the first gen DF64. Okay, so this is the first gen. So this second gen. So this is the recent. Uh, uh, Joe is, uh, I think you should start shipping it out sometime in September. I mean, sometime this month. Okay. And then right next to it, this is a P64. Okay, from option O. All right. This is the option O. Okay, so they're pretty much, so all these grinders, the, uh, all the grinders from especially Amazon or Turin, they got inspired by P64, okay? So, in, uh, I mean, P64 is it. I mean, so this is the kind of like what started all, the premium single-dose hand grinder, uh, not, hand, uh, not hand grinder, the single-dose grinder, okay? Uh, this is about pushing about two grand. This is about $1,800, okay? And 1800 bucks. Joe's website right now, uh, I have a link down below as well. Uh, Joe is selling this one for $399, okay? And the DF64 version 1, the Gen 1, I think Joe is uh, $369 or so, uh, about uh, $340, it's about $50 cheaper, okay? But P64 does not have, uh, it's called Plasma, okay? I, I don't know the exact name of it, pro, uh, plasma generator. I don't know how they come up with the plasma generator. It's kind of like anti-static in a way. It does not have, does not have it. So you need to have RDT because I'm in Arizona, by the way. Okay, I'm in Arizona, very dry place. Static is number one issue here. Okay, so I definitely requires RDT on P64. And Gen 1 also needs... <clears throat> RDT as well. If not, you're going to see a lot of static too. <clears throat> and this one here, Gen 2, has a plasma generator built in. Okay. And it looks very slick as well. I mean, I, I think, uh, if you haven't seen my video yesterday, make sure to check it out. Okay. Uh, they use the wave spring, uh, wave spring inside the, uh, the bird carrier. And everything is nicely very clean, let's put it out. Very clean, uh, clean everything out, okay? Uh, metal parts as well. I mean, even bellow is very nice too. Compared to their older bellow, the rubber piece. I mean, they did right, okay? It's just, just nicely made, okay? Definitely nicely made as well. So this one, I have the popcorn. Uh, so this 3D print, okay, for the uh, popcorn stopper. So I mean, that's kind of like aftermarket. Uh, my buddy printed out for me. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back here. So, 
You know what? <clears throat> Let me uh, bring you guys a little closer here, guys. Hold on. Give you guys a little closer. So Gen 1, you don't have any uh, popcorn stopper, okay? Popcorn uh, blocker. So you need something like this to 3D print to stop the popcorn. Okay, just like that. But with the Gen 2, guess what? They have built-in popcorn stopper as well. Okay? Everything's all nice and clean. How cool is that? Okay, obviously just like P64, same thing. P64 has a popcorn stopper too. So with P64, does not come with the bellow. I mean, this one, it does. Okay, if you want to use bellow, <coughs> you can do that as well. Okay. Yeah, I bet you can do something like that, but you know. I don't know, I mean, I, I like the look of not having the bellow on the top. But that's not that bad, but yeah. So I, I prefer this look, okay. <clears throat> anyway, so both require RDT, uh, P64, or any other grinders I have here. Even my calf attack, okay, requires RDT as well. There's nothing, there's no plasma generator, all right. Monolith, calf attack does not have it. Uh, DF83 does not have that either. Obviously, niche, nope. None of them, okay? None of them. Uh, all this grinder does not have plasma generator, which means you need to have RDT, okay? You, you need it. So, I mean, you know what? I'm not a, again, I'm not a big fan of RDT, all right? I'm not a big fan of it. I know some people, you know, some people like it, the power of their ritual. I mean, I have a bottle here, okay. I know some people use the smaller bottle. And for this one, I mean, as you can, I hope you guys can see that this mist, you guys can see that? Very light mist, okay. So you don't have to apply a lot of water to it. Uh, a lot of small squirt bottle. I don't know. I think I felt like too much water, okay. But again. Okay. And then, hold on a second. I, I got some questions. One asked me. Uh, the Gen 2 is the same as a, a Turin uh, DF6 uh, version 5? No, it's not the same grinder. Version 2 has the plasma generator. So that's the big one. Okay. And also uh, the internal design is also different as well. Uh, spring inside for the uh, Gen 1 and the wave spring in Gen 2. So yeah, I mean, they are different. Okay. And then again, uh, <clears throat> all these grinders have issues with RDT, okay? So, you know what? Let's do it, okay? I'm gonna do three times in a row, okay, with a Gen 2, without the RDT, and what kind of grind quality we're gonna get, okay? I mean, I, we usually have a Joe from Espresso Outlet joining, joining us on our live streaming, but he's not here this morning. Okay, let's find that, guys. It's a big one, okay? This is a big one. Now, hopefully, okay, hopefully, we're going to have some good result with it, all right? If, he's, it's, if you're going to have a lot of static issues, it's not going to be, it's not going to be good. But, you know what? Uh, let me show you with, okay, let's start with, uh, let, let me show you with uh, P64 first, okay? P64 set the high standard. I'm going to be doing without the RDT with the P64. All right, I got the clear cup here. All right, so I'm going to show you with the P64 first. All right, hold on. There you go. P64.
Again, I mean, I'm in Arizona, very dry place. Static is definitely issues in this, uh, my town. Okay, so this is what's going on with the P64 without the RDT. Uh, messy. Okay. So that's kind of like our baseline there. All right. Let's take a look at. Gen 2, P64 here. Man, I'm telling you, this is uh, legit, okay? Because that's, so that's first shot, all right? Looks very clean compared to P64. There's no comparison, all right? There's nothing on the side as well. So let's do one more, okay? Just for the sake. All right, I need a clear glass. Hold on here, guys. I'm gonna transfer. As you can see, it's plea. There's no static there. Well, let's do that one more time. Let's zoom in this time. Uh, shot number two. Not that bad either. Okay, second shot. Pretty clean as well. Again, compared to P64. Yeah, there's no comparison. Okay. So that's a shot number two. So I mean I mean as you can see on the live streaming, okay. I mean I don't mind the static inside, but this is really bothers me, okay. This. All right, so this is a big thing in here in Arizona. I mean, if your climate is a very humidity, it's not as bad, okay? Especially living in deserts. Not a whole lot here. P64, Gen 2. No, I'm sorry, the DF64 Gen 2. As you can see, not a whole lot of static. And the P64 does. Yeah, so yeah, again. Uh, uh, no more RDT with P, no, DF64, for sure, okay. Yeah, let me know, okay, what, what do you guys think about that, all right? Okay, what do you guys think? Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay. Hold on a second here. Yeah, again, I mean, you guys saw it in live, so definitely you do not need I mean, I'm, I'm not going to use RDT on my DF64 Gen 2, for sure, from moving forward. So, hold on, someone asked me, the rig asked me why use a clear cup when you have the metal. Uh, the reason why I use the plastic cup, so I can show you how much static you guys have, uh, static you have on that uh, grinder, that's it, okay. A anyway, so it comes to static with Gen 2, is non-issue, okay. Uh, uh, obviously, P64, you need to ha uh, you need a uh, RDT for sure. And uh, I know a lot of you out there have Gen 1, okay, DF64 already. And I know if you are thinking about upgrading it, and uh, that's another question, right? Uh, if I were you, no, I mean, do not upgrade to. Okay, here, here, here's what you're gonna get from upgrading from DF64 to. A DF64 Gen 2. Okay, obviously a plasma generator, no more RDT, right? Uh, you're gonna have you know wave spring versus regular spring. It's not gonna be, it's not a game changer. Okay, I mean it's, it's a little cleaner. Has a built-in you know popcorn stopper as well. Okay, but comes to cup quality. I mean it's not a it's not a big deal. Okay. I mean, it's all about the uh, verse, right? Since this is uh, this, since this is 64 millimeter, uh, just to get the birds you want. Okay, it could be 
anything out there. Okay. MP birds, even stock birds. The st stock birds are pretty decent as well. Get okay. the stock birds. Uh, I think uh, DLC birds as well. DLC birds are a little cheaper. Uh, obviously, we got the, all the SSPs out there, HU, CAST, MP birds. So yeah, so you have a lot of options for 64 millimeter. But if you, uh, if you are looking for grinder right now, okay, if you are looking for grinder right now, if you don't have grinder, definitely put uh, Gen 2 on your list, okay? Make sure to do your research on it. But yeah, so far, I mean, I, LDT is a big thing for me because every time I have to put the score some water in it, I got to shake it. But this one, you don't have to do that anymore. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, okay? That's pretty cool there. You know what? Since I got a couple of shots here, you know, let's pull the shot, okay? All right, let's pull the shot here. I got my, yeah. Let's give it a try. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick one here. I don't know which grinder that was, but I'm just gonna shake it here. Yeah, let's make a quick cup coffee. Okay. Let's make a quick call. Uh, by the way, if you are joining us for the first time, yeah, let me know, okay? If you're a first timer, let me know in the comment section. So now I'm gonna do some little bit of, so now we got the RDT cover, right? How about WDT, okay? All right, I know people love to do w <coughs> WDT out there, okay? How about WDT? I, I wonder, is there any gadget out there that makes WDT a lot easier? Okay. Because it comes to doing by hand, you know, I mean, you cannot be consistent every single time. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be consistent. So, I know there's a lot of uh, gadgets out there. I know I saw one from Weber, all right? I saw one from Weber, a uh, guy, it's called Moonraker. It's like 400 bucks. Just the WDT tools, guys. This one cost me next to nothing. I got wine cork with copper acupuncture needle. Okay. That's it. Okay. And then uh, let's not forget uh, different tools out there either. All right, they got great tools out there. I mean, I do love gadgets. Hold on, we have a fly blue dog is joining us for the first time, but almost first time, good. So this is the gravity tool I've been using from Posada. Yep. And uh, I've been playing with their latest temper as well. So this one's interesting design though. As you can see, it's like kind of like roundish. Okay, kind of like shape. Uh, supposedly give you a better, okay, consistent shot. Stop the channeling. So give you that, you know, big dip in the middle. So, all right. Let's put some shot. Hopefully I have the right grinder size. Okay, you know what, since, let's figure out, let's wait to shot too. Yeah, why not? Let's go like one to two ratio. Okay, hopefully I don't have to play with the paddle. I mean, I'm choking it right now. So I'm choking it, so I'm just gonna use my, I'm gonna, yep, use the flow control here. I'm going to shut the valve up. I'm going to soak the puck. I'm going to slowly release it. Okay, I'm going to slowly release it. So you can save the shot. That's the great thing about the paddle. Okay. I can slowly release the valve there. Let me slowly release. Uh, by the way, I'm using the coffee from... Uh, Neapolitan blend from Good Brothers Coffee this morning. Uh, this is pretty great for milk-based drink. 
just plain black coffee. <clears throat> I'm just gonna release. There we go. At this point, I don't care about the time. Only thing matters is the my output here. I'm at 70 seconds already. So now I got one to two ratio at 80, almost 80 seconds. Okay. Okay, let's, let's see it. Ah. So this is a grinder, uh, this DF64 Gen 2 grinder. Way over extracted. <clears throat> but you know what, let's try this. Okay, let's try this cup. All right, it might be, who knows, it might be okay. Again, 80 seconds. Okay, 80 seconds. Here we go. Cheers, little buddy. It's fine. Okay, it's not bad. It's, you know, a little bitter, but I bet you it's great for milk base right now, milk base drink. Uh, a little bit of cappuccino should be wonderful. Even plain black coffee as well. I mean, you know, can't go wrong with this cup. That's the great thing about the, the paddle, right? The flow control. I mean, if you're choking, just shut the valve off, okay? And then you are going to saturate the puck and then slowly release it, okay? So you can actually save the shot. Uh, if, they are, if it doesn't have the puck, it's gonna be just stuck there for a while. It's gonna be just stuck there. But again, uh, this is a you know, decent shot, okay? Obviously, I need to change my grind size I mean, I got plenty of room to go, so yeah. Comes to burr options for, you know what, I mean, I don't mind. So that, that grind, again, that grind is about 400 bucks, 399. And if you're gonna add SSP, that's additional, maybe like 180 to like 200 bucks. So, so let's say 200 bucks. So that grinder bring you up to $600 with the SSP. So $600 grinder, so that's the same price as okay, Niche, right? We've got the Niche out there. And uh, Timer Sculptor, okay, in that price range. Uh, 64 millimeter, you're looking around $400. And we are talking about SSP though. Okay, we are talking about SSP. Without the SSP, that's only 400 bucks. With $400, uh, 64 millimeter flat burr. Goodness. Uh, so this is one of my favorite hand grinder from Piatra. 58 millimeter uh, flat burr hand grinder. Okay. 475 bucks. So this hand grinder is more expensive than the 64 millimeter. Okay. So you got you got to put that in perspective. And the uh, blue blue dog asked me, it's a niche killer. Ah, uh, no, it's not a niche killer. The niche and DF64. They're a different grinder. One is conical, one is flat, okay? So I know people like to say that in a niche killer. I mean, niche has been killing it for a while, okay? It's been, it's been three years. It's been three years out, so yeah. But it's definitely not, uh, it's not a niche killer. They are a different grinder for sure. So again, uh, I mean, niche has, I mean, if you like espresso only, okay? If you don't care about the filter coffee, espresso only, a niche is, they're fine. Okay, they're nice 63 millimeter conical burr from Mazer, okay, Mazer Coney. So, I mean, they're, they're good, okay, if you don't care about filter side. But if you care about the filter side as well as the uh, espresso, now we can have a conversation because we 64 millimeter uh, has a lot more options than niche. Niche has only one option, their burr, that's it, okay. You're not gonna switch swap out the birds, but if you are, if you're a coffee hobbyist, or if you like to do both, I'm telling you, I mean, with a niche with like MP birds, right? MP, MP give you that very nice clarity. Again, I mean, if you like, you know, like it classic style, Italian style, like Neapolitan dark roast, I mean. Don't worry about the burrs, okay? Just use the stock burrs. I mean, they're fine. $400, you'd be good to go, okay? You don't need much. And they also it does the, you know, filter coffee well as well. So yeah, so now, now you have some options. 
but comes to uh, if you're a copy hobbyist, let's switch out the birds. I think this, I mean, so far with, uh, with the plasma generator built in, I mean, yeah, definitely look into, you know, upgrading your birds as well. So start with the stock birds first, right? Get used to it. I mean, 400 bucks, it's not a huge investment. Okay. It's not a huge investment. So, yeah, so you have some options. Hold on. We have uh, someone from Vietnam say $290 came with the DRC birds. That, that's a really good price. Okay. $290 with the DRC. And so, I remember when uh, DF64 came out way back when, they only cost $150. Okay, $150 bucks, way back when. So, the price is different. Uh, price definitely varies. Uh, throughout the world there. I mean, but again, I mean, if you buy $290 in Vietnam, guess what? You got to ship it to U.S. That costs you 100 bucks. So bring up to 390 So about the same price as here. Yeah. The Rick said 150 was an introductory price. Yes. Yeah, that's, the, that's way back when. Okay. Hold on a second. JD asked, uh, Zero Note Z1, you know what, I hear great things about it. Okay, here's the thing, I hear great things about it, but I have not played with it yet. So that's the one grinder I re I'm very curious about, okay. Zono is a 64 millimeter, just like this grinder's here, okay. With the, the I like about that grinder has the auger in it, so they have pre-breaker, okay. Pre-breaker with, uh, with uh, burst, right, the SSPs. And they give you that a, a more uniformity. It comes to grind size is a lot more uniform than other grinders out there. That's what I heard. Okay, I know the Lance was a rave about it rave about that grinder, even Kyle as well. But I don't know. I mean, that's something I love to uh, compare that with some of my grinders here at the, my coffee desk. Okay, I mean, as you can see, I do have some good collection of uh, grinders. So I can definitely put that grinder to the test. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, you know, we're going to, hopefully I can get a demo unit from Zono. It'd be great. You know, let me reach out to them, okay? Let me reach out to Zono. Or maybe get the, yeah, I, I know they have a demo version, okay? Maybe I can get one. Okay, and the JD say, now with the blind version, you have a more surface area. And then, so excited, like 73 millimeter. I, I think uh, uh, someone actually did a math on that. It's not 73, okay? I think you got a, a kind of a sort conference as well. Where's Ryan we need? Yeah, Ryan did a math on it last time. So, yeah. Okay, and the uh, Flyer Dog said, would you test uh, Gen 2 versus uh, Lagon P64? They got nothing to test. I mean, as you just saw, right? Okay. I mean, you, I mean, you, you saw the uh, RDT. I mean, that's the big one. Okay. So, I mean, comes to comes to body wise, okay, the look and feel. P sixty four all day long. Okay, all day. They are great. Okay, well made. For the price, I go with the Gen two, all day. Okay, so Gen two. Uh, Gen 2 versus the Lagon P64, we are talking about apple to orange. Okay, but here, here's the thing though, here's the thing. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have the exact same birds on both grinders, P64 and Gen 2, can you tell the difference? All right, can you tell the difference in taste with the exact same birds? I don't know. If that's exactly the same thing, Okay, you are buying for the, the look and feel of P64, okay, the beer quality. But, I mean, for what I'm seeing with the Gen 2 right now for P64, uh, the DF64 Gen 2, I mean, with no more RDT with the plasma generator, uh, for the price, it's very attractive, okay, very attractive there, all right. Uh, uh, hold on, so I think I'm going to... Uh, let, let's do one more shot. 
I know someone asked me, when, uh, what about the direct dosing? Okay, what about the, because P64 direct dosing is awesome. Okay, it does a great job with the P64. So what about direct dosing with the F64 Gen 2? Okay. Okay, let's do it. All right. I'm, I'm curious about my serif as well. We're going to do 18 gram again. Let's do 18 gram. We got, we got a few people watching right now. Uh, make, make sure thumbs up on the video, okay? You got about 20 people thumbs up, so yeah. Yeah, make sure thumbs up on the video here. I mean, so this is the, one of those video. Actually, it's pretty cool, okay? Because I'm very excited about not having, you know, I don't have to do RDTs anymore. I mean, I like that a lot, yeah. I like that very much. Let's do 18 gram dose. So who's first timer? I know someone, someone say almost first timer, but we have a, we have a Dar, Darlene's. I don't know, I hope I'm saying it right. Have I tried the drone? Oh, not yet. Uh, that's, the, that's the one grinder I love to try. Yeah. I love to try the drone someday. So let's give you guys a better view here. Hold on. We have uh, Linda is a long time listener and watcher over the years. All right. Let's just do some direct dosing. Before we do it, I need to change the grind size. Last time, we are choking it. Last time, so. Uh, I'm just gonna go a little coarser. Okay, I'm gonna go a little coarser there. Not too much. Hopefully that should work. Uh, usually it takes about a couple of tries to get the grinder size dialed in properly. Okay, it's not, by the way, that comes with this rubber piece. I remove the bottom, okay, just like that. Also comes with a dosing ring as well, okay, just like so. I mean, with P64, let me show you, okay. You gotta hold it. I mean, both of them, you have to hold it. All right, you gotta hold it there. With the rubber piece, um, you know, I, I, I still like to hold it, it both grinder. Okay. There we go. Again, works good. Okay. Works really good. They're very fluffy. Actually, it's not that bad, guys. Okay. So far, so far, what I'm seeing, this grinder, a lot of improvement from previous. Okay, with the Gen One, I'm just gonna do. Yeah, again, very fluffy. You don't even need. Yeah, you don't need RDT. No, not RDT, but WDT there. But we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Uh, let's have some fun with it. It does a very clean job. All right. Let's give it a, another shot here. Shot number two. Hopefully we got a better shot this time.
Oh yeah, much better there. You see that. Man, very thick crema. That's the great thing about the dark roast. This grinder hasn't even seasoned yet, so. Yeah. 33 seconds, 35 gram. Pretty good. I have to say. All right, I mean, again, that looks really good. Okay, uh, let's try the coffee. Okay, Let, let's try this coffee here. Here you go, cheers everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, by the way. Okay, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, so this is a coffee from my friends at Good Brothers Coffee. I, I've been asking Brent to come up with a really good dark roast. He's getting one step closer, okay? So this coffee is getting almost there, okay? Neapolitan. I do have a coupon code for that as well. I got 15% coupon code, so make sure you take advantage of it. But I want it to be a little bit more sweeter than this. So I know he is working on it, but yeah. Hopefully he's going to come up with a holiday mix coming up soon. So here you go. Cheers. Dark chocolate, very creamy. You know, it's not the milk chocolate. I want the milk chocolate. So this is the dark chocolate. I want milk chocolate, okay, sweetness, yeah, that's what I want, but Brent, if you are watching, yeah, work on it, buddy, yeah, work on that. Yeah, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna, we got a few people watching right now, okay, and uh, we have, uh, let's answer some, answer some questions here. Champs ask, three bombers, gravity distribution, uh, distributor is, is good, is it any good? I don't know. Okay, answer is I don't know because I don't have it. Okay, I do not have the gravity tools. I, only gravity tools I have here is the Bravo, gravity tools, and the Posado. Okay, uh, they are solid. All right, again, they are solid tools. With especially gravity tools, once you get your grind size right, you don't need to you don't need to temp anymore. Okay, it does a really good job with the weight of the. Uh, weight of the gravity tool. So yeah, you don't need a temp anymore, but just make sure to play with the grind size But you know what temp it anyway. I mean if you like temping, okay uh, Giorgio say Saka. Yeah, Saka does great job with the duck roast. Yeah, I, I mean they're really good. I mean, I really like the Their macchiata, you know, Saka with a little bit of uh, Whole milk steam it just a little bit of whole milk on the top there And they're fantastic all right, uh, French coffee geek. Can you define the taste profile of uh, uh, SSP lap sweet for espresso? The lap sweet, uh, I don't have lap sweet. I, I, I do have Caspers, okay, I do have Caspers. So they are, they're pretty good, all right? They're pretty good there. They're really good. Hold on a second here, you know what? So, I mean, this cup is, who wants to see, you guys want to, okay. I have a SSP cast here in this burst, okay, a cast burst. And I have a Meisen burst. Which one you guys want to see right now? Okay, compare, okay. You guys want to see the Meisen with the P64? You guys want it with the cast? Which one you guys want to see? Uh, French Geek say cast. Yeah, shout out to Bruce. Bruce is also joining us from Minnesota. Uh, if you guys want to see a great Lapaboni videos, make sure to check out my buddy Bruce Papas. Okay, he has a great selection of videos he's been making over the years. Dylan say P64. We got two casts and P64, okay. Okay, we got, the, so P64 comes with the Meisenbergs. Okay, oh, two and two, guys. Two cast, two Meisen. Who's going to be a tiebreaker? Who's going to be the tiebreaker here? Cast. Okay, we're going to go with the cast. All right. 
Let's go with the cast. Okay, comes to grind size, man. That's the thing about the grind size. I mean, every grinders are different. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna guess right now. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. Okay, I have no clue. Yeah, I'm just gonna guess here. Ho hopefully, I'm gonna be hooked the best. Okay. Uh, let's do 18 gram again. So we're gonna be doing cast the Dylan say do it all. No, we we're just gonna do one. We're just gonna do one and done here. All right. And uh, uh, we're gonna be and then uh, let's find out. Okay, if it, if this thing is close, that say something. Okay. Because a cast give you that a uh, little bit of both. Okay, a little a little bit of. Uh, clearly and also give you a texture as well okay so the stock burst from the uh, gen 2 that's kind of like classic the italian style burst great for duck roast i mean so that's given but with the cast it's kind of like you know more newer a different way to drink coffee there Hold on a second here. All right. Again, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Welcome to live streaming here. Okay, here we go. Well, you know what? Let's direct those too. Okay, let's do some direct those. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, let's not. Okay. Let's not do direct those. Uh, definitely, you need RDT. Okay. You need an RDT on Casper. So this is a, a DF64 with the Caspers, SSP Cast. Again, not not a whole lot of static as well. So again, that you need, yeah, you need to do RDT, especially if you are in the dry place, like Arizona. I have feeling I think I grind uh, too fine here, too fine. But we'll see. I'm just gonna a little bit of WDT. the exact same workflow. Ah, oh, goodness. I screwed up, guys. I banged it. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go again one to two ratio. Oh, definitely choking it right now. I'm just gonna close my valve, okay? I'm gonna saturate the puck. All right. And then slowly release it. There we go. Here it comes. So again, the grind size is too fine. I mean you can usually tell by the how much grind, you know, inside the portafilter. 
Again, great thing about the paddle, you can uh, control the flow. Okay. So you can actually save the shots. I'm just going to slowly open up the valve there. I'm at 60 seconds already. Well, I think it should be okay. You know, I'm not too worried about the taste. It's going to be a little over extracted for sure, but the paddle does the wonders. You know, we're going to go one to two ratio. We are still going. Here we go. Still has a lots of crema on the top. All right. Cheers, guys. Smells pretty good. Here we go. Yeah, it's more smooth. Okay. You think this coffee is going to be very bitter? It's not. It's still very balanced as well. They're different. Okay, uh, Casper versus the just regular Italian style uh, birds. I mean, so this is more round. By the way, this is way over extracted as well, but with the uh, uh, Caspers and combination with the petal from Lillet Bianca, man. You know what? I'm, at this point, goodness. Let's do one more shot, guys. Let's make that, let's make that shot cast a little, little better here. We've got a few people watching right now. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more. I'm very curious, all right? I'm very curious if I, we got the uh, dialed in just right, okay? What kind of shot are we going to get out of it? Okay, so let's, yeah, let's do one more. Okay. Let's do with the one more, with the cast. Okay, so right now I'm at about one, about 15 clicks away from zero right now. I'm just gonna go a little bit more, okay, about five more clicks. Okay. Yeah. Let's do five more clicks. I mean, the last shot wasn't that bad, even with like 90 seconds. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second here. Again, if you're jo uh, just joining us, we've been playing with Gen 2 for a while, and then we are going to compare that with the Caspers at the moment. Okay. Uh, we are using Duck Roast from uh, Good Brothers Coffee. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's do one more. Yeah, we cannot stop now here. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay, here we go. RDT is must. Okay. For the DF or P64. All right. Okay, just make sure all the grinds go through. Is that, the grinds are a lot more uniform as you can see, okay? It's a lot more uniform than uh, the, the stock burst from uh, Gen 2. Okay. 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 
let's go let's give give it a little good puck prep here as you can see it looks pretty good you know what uh, let's go without the wdt this time okay let's go without no wdt let's do the just the gravity tool All right, here I go, guys. Bring you guys a little closer. Okay, let's pull the shot here. Much better this time. Man, look at that crime, huh? goodness. They're beautiful. Thirty six se seconds, but look at this beautiful crime. Huh? This is good as good. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a try there. I mean, that that is a nice looking shot there. That is, uh, looks really good. So that's the uh, Caspers, okay. Cheers everybody, we got a few people watching this afternoon, this morning. I'm glad you guys are here, hang out, hanging out with us. Cheers. Yeah, that's much, much better than or smooth. The Casper is, the, the, so stock birds are fine, okay? Don't get me wrong, stock birds are fine. But you pay for SSP for a reason, okay? They give you that one level up, okay? If you wanna, inc if you wanna level up espresso, something different, okay? Something unique, more round, more smooth, more sweeter, it can be it, okay? Can beat it. So again, uh, if you are into, uh, I mean, if you are into just regular dark roast, want to make black coffee in the morning or latte or cappuccino, that's fine. Just uh, stick with uh, stock birds. Okay, save yourself some money. But if if you wanna, if you want to, okay, experiment with a different light roast, especially a lighter roast. Okay, uh, play with the different uh, tasting. You know once get more out of that coffee uh casper is really nice mp birds are nice as well mp or cast okay but if you only care about espresso you can go with a uh, high uniformity ssp high uniformity is pretty good uh, even stock birds are fine too okay just you know stock with the stock birds even uh, drc birds as well so i mean now you have a lot more options with 64 millimeter let's put it that way Okay, I think we are good. Okay, I think we, man, we made a lot of coffee this morning. Again, I do have the link to the uh, DF Gen 2 on my description, so make sure to check it out as well. Let's hear what else. I think we are good. Okay, I think we got some people watching this morning. And uh, we're going to do some uh, fun comparison coming up. Uh, maybe next couple of days. I, I, do want to, I do want to compare with the P64. Uh, and uh, DF64 Gen 2. Okay, let's compare that as well. Okay, side by side comparison. Let's do the next couple of days. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday morning. And I'll be back this afternoon as well. We're gonna we're gonna do something fun. Okay, let, let's do some something fun this afternoon as well. All right, see you next time.